What's up, my beautiful bros, beauty maniac here. I have not been in the right state of mind lately to post consistently. I do apologize for that. That is my fault. I'm trying to take better care of myself, so I've been taking a few days off to kind of just relax, think, so there will be rebuilds out soon. I promise I'll get back to it when I feel right. But, um, the reason why I'm posting something today is, as you can see here by the thumbnail, by the title, whatever the fuck this is, because this is going to be the only thing on the screen the whole time. Um, I'm in my QB1 franchise mode, and I went to look up Jadavian Clowney for a particular reason. Um, the Texans were exploring a trade with him, and it was rumored that he was going to be traded to Miami Dolphins. It was also rumored they, rumored they offered Jadavian Clowney and a first-round draft pick for Tunsil to the Dolphins, and the Dolphins wanted more. And honestly, um, that was way overpaying already for the Texans, in my opinion. Um, mainly because Clowney for Tunsil is not even, but adding that first round draft pick kind of tips the scale quite a bit. But left tackle is obviously a huge need for the Texans, so I understood it. But then I go on Twitter and I'm and I see this article breaking news: Jadavian Clowney got traded. And I'm like, pff, I'm like, mm, is this one of them um cut day jokes or whatever? And I'm like, no, nah, no, it's not. So I, I looked it up and Jadavian Clowney got traded to the Seahawks for a third round pick and two linebackers who aren't gonna probably do much in the Texans. One of them is Barkevius Mingo, who played for the Patriots in 2016 and managed 11 tackles. Yeah. Um, the Seahawks might have just pulled off the steal of the century. Uh, I mean, not century, steal of the year, decade, whatever you want to call it. Definitely the biggest move of the year so far, depending on what happens at the trade deadline. Um, honestly, if the Texans wanted to get more value, they could have traded him to anybody for a second round pick and got more value out of it. Um, I don't mean to disrespect Mingo and the other guy, but the Texans don't really need a lot of defensive help. Especially not Barkevius Mingo. I mean, yeah, you gotta fill the hole left by Clowney when he leaves, but still, that's not the way to do it. And the third round pick? That's all you're gonna ask for? Jadavian Clowney? You're not gonna get as much for a Jadavian Clowney young pass rusher as the Oakland Raiders got for an older Antonio Brown. You're not gonna get even that much back? It's not even a third and a fifth, it's just a third? You got fleeced, man. The Texans got fleeced. Bill O'Brien... You gotta go to your GM's office and slap him right in the goddamn face. It's awful. And it's not, it's not only awful in my opinion, but I feel like it's absolutely disrespectful to the players of the Texans. Because it's like, you know what? You're not worth anything to us. But I, I get that message from that. Because if that's what Jadavian Clowney fetches, <laughs> they'd probably trade J.J. Watt for a, a second round pick and a cornerback who's cut on day on week one you know what I mean he's 27 according to this this is a year ahead so it should be he's 26 he's young he's a great pass rusher when healthy and he's worth the risk that's why the Seahawks took him because now he gets to pair with Wagner Jerron Reed and Collier it's either Collier or Collier I don't quite know the exact pronunciation. I do apologize for that. Amazing move by the Seahawks. Amazing move by the Seahawks. They got rid of two linebackers they were probably most likely going to cut in the first place. I should say two defensive players they were going to cut in the first place. And they got a franchise-capable player in Jadamon Clowney. And they have a lot more cap space with younger players like Lockett, Brashard Penny... Chris Carson, Rashad Penny, Chris Carson, stuff like that, at the skill positions, and DJ Metcalf. So they have money to pay Clowney. I hear he's sending his franchise tag with Houston so he could be traded to Seattle. And then probably Seattle's going to try to work out a long term deal for him. 
Because honestly, honestly, what's brilliant about Seattle is say they don't, say they just let him play out his deal and then try to re-sign him. If he leaves, they gave up a third round pick and two players that probably weren't going to make the team. And they would honestly probably get a third round compensatory pick back in exchange if he left. Which is absolutely incredible. It's almost, I hate to say it, Bill Belichickian. Bill, Bill in the sense that you trade away, you trade for a player that may or may not make the team. And you give, you trade away like a fifth or a sixth round draft pick and you get a compensatory selection that's basically equal to what you gave up. It's a smart ass fucking move. Texans, get dumb. I was actually, honestly, like earlier the day before this news broke. I was honestly rooting for the Texans to possibly make the playoffs again. It's going to be hard for them. They have a porous offensive line, which hopefully they play better than expected. I honestly hope they do. Deshaun Watson deserves it. Duke Johnson deserves it. DeAndre Hopkins fucking deserves a goddamn good team for once. Will Fuller, hope he's healthy this year. Kiki Cutie, I hope he actually has a good year. That would be very solid if they had a reliable third option at wide receiver. The defense started looking a lot better. Uh, just the thought of J.J. Watt and Javon Clowney and Whitney Merciless all healthy together again was just thought of make tes- Texans basketball fun to watch. I mean, Texans football fun to watch. And I said basketball because I was thinking for a second offense and then for, I don't know why, my brain went to LeBron James. Um, Overall, I'm going to grade the trade... An absolute F by the Texans. An absolute F. Worst case scenario, what? Jadavion Clowney holds out for the year? And he doesn't play? I mean, yeah, that sucks. But... It's a third round pick. You had all year to trade him. You could have got more. You could have got better players. You could have went somewhere and grabbed an offensive tackle from somebody. Like, there's a lot of depth. You could have went to the Washington Redskins and be like, Hey, hey, we'll give you Jadamian Clowney, a first-round draft pick, and you know, somebody else, or another draft pick, like first and the fourth, and you go to Trent Williams, and that would have been such a better trade. Like, I'm just doing that off the top of my head. I'm not sure if that works. But, oh my god. And another thing this does is this makes the AFC, the NFC West absolutely fucking terrifying on defense when you think about it. Because you have Chandler Jones of the Arizona Cardinals and you have a couple of other good young players that I can't really think of off the top of my head. You have Patrick Peterson there still, but he's not really a defensive lineman. You have the San Francisco 49ers who have some young guns, but more specifically the Rams with Aaron Donald. And the Seahawks with Reed, Wagner, Jamie <laughs> Clowney. It's gonna, it's gonna be fun seeing those defensive lines go up against each other, especially when it's Seahawks versus Rams. Anyway, yeah, F for the Texans. F F F F F. Mainly F for F U, and the Seahawks absolute A plus so far. Um, say Clowney gets hurt though, like he usually does. It would probably be more of a B minus because this is a trade that's absolutely worth the risk. He he gets hurt. Let's say he goes on IR. Let him walk. Let him walk. Get a compensatory pick, and boom, you get your money back. I love it. These are the moves that I love football for. Also, it takes a really gullible GM, and I'm not sure who they called. I'm not sure who they talked to. But the fact they couldn't get more than this, or better offer than this, I should say, should have told that GM, wait, wait on this, or keep him. That would have been another great option. I just can't believe they didn't go offense, man. Anyway, that's my opinion on Jadavian Clowney trade. I wish him the best of luck in Seattle with... The twin brothers, the Griffin brothers, Bobby, him and Bobby Wagner together. Oh my God, it's gonna be fun to watch. And it gives Russell Wilson a very, very solid defense to work with, because his offensive line does kind of suck. 
And that's another thing I don't understand about the trade to the Seattle Seahawks is, yes, the Seahawks needed a, a better, a, to upgrade their pass rush. It wasn't bad, but an upgrade's always good if you can get it, especially for this price. But they need O-line help, so they didn't have any really O-line people to give up to the Texans. So why were you even talking to the Seahawks in the first place? <laughs> I don't get it, man. That's the NFL. Things happen that you never see coming. And this is one of them. Question is, what's going to be the next one? Anyway, guys, hope you see you in the next one. Peace.